started with. Okay, we are recording. Um, this is Dawn's Dreamers team Zoom. This is kind of an added Zoom that we're doing this month uh, using some of the uh, pages from the workbook that uh, was available to everyone online. And if you went to convention, we got the actual booklet in our bag. So I figured uh, going through this booklet, there was some good tools in there that I thought could really support, I mean, the ones that have been with Avon a long time and the new ones, because sometimes we need to be reminded of, of what we could be doing and, um, and, and, you know, kind of little reminders of how we used to do it, what we should bring back in a different form in a different way. So this is kind of all about uh, finding new customers. So, um, hello, hi, who just joined us? Welcome. Is this Sabrina? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine, Sabrina. Um, glad you joined us and um, I'm going to make, I'm gonna, I can't talk today. I'm gonna mute everybody right now so that we get a good recording. And then, um, oh, now it says my battery is low. I better plug in my computer. <laughs> um, mute everybody so we get a good recording and then we could come off mute and talk about this. Okay, all right, you're allowed to unmute yourself. So um, this first page talks about finding new customers, way to get, ways to get new customers. So, I mean, if you printed this out and worked over this a little bit, you know, there's some, some good points in there, but what other ways besides what's listed there um, did, you, did you guys think of as you were reading through this? Any thoughts? So you can come bring yourself off mute if you want there to share. Um, I have um, one of my biggest things right now is that I'm picking up the grandkids. So a uh, way to get the new customers is I see an out in front of the elementary school waiting for my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And it's like that never occurred to me that I could be using that to my benefit. So what I decided to do was put a bunch of books and samples and my business card and hand them out. I mean, they're almost all of them are women waiting for their children and what a better way. And they're just standing there with this bored look on their faces because that was me. I was doing the same thing. And um, there's some of them are sitting, some of them are standing, some of them are even in their cars. So I keep thinking to myself, get out of that comfort zone, stop just walking behind those cars and standing in the back waiting for Carly to get out of school, hand them a book, hand them a book, hand them a sample, tell them that you're the Avon lady, bam, there you go. And the great part about that is even though I'm, uh, my daughter's now picking her up, so it's like I lost that opportunity, there's no reason why I can't still do that. I mean, I could still go, I could still park, I can still walk, and I can still say hello to all these people and say, listen, I'm the Avon lady. We're still around. We want your business. Here you go. Here's a sample. Here's some perfume. Here's a, you know, we're really right. big into face, face care products, which is what I noticed that these young moms are really all about. And, you know, a good thing for that would be to ask, how long has it been since you've seen an Avon book? You know, that type of opening of the conversation. Um, you know, that's great. Bus stops and oh, sorry. I wouldn't go to the bus stop because the bus stop, uh, being an ex bus driver, um, yeah. there are big restrictions on approaching children at bus stops. Don't do right, it. right, Don't right. Do it. But if the parents are there, is what I'm saying. If the parents um, are there, yeah, but if you're not there with a kid, it's frowned upon. And if they report you, you can get into trouble because then they got your business card and they know who you are. Yeah, so, yeah I would I, seriously, um, as an ex bus driver, we reported everybody who was there without a kid because we don't know if they're scoping out someone's child. 
it's a big, big, big no-no. So I would not do it at a bus stop, but there's no reason why you can't go to a school for parents who are waiting for their children. Mm -hmm. and just say, hey, while we're waiting, I'm, I'm waiting for my kid, my grandkid, whoever, whatever, pass those books out then, because you're right there at the school. If there's an issue, the principal will come and say, hey, we don't allow that here. And you just say, okay, no problem. And yeah. then go to the next one. But Seriously. And then my other granddaughter, I drop her off at Burger King and those parents are sitting in that parking lot at the end of the day, waiting for their kids to come across the street in that parking lot. Hand those out right there too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just uh, if, if you're looking for new business, that's not something that they used on here as an example, but that is a perfect opportunity for me because I don't work out of the home. This yeah. Our, our playgrounds too. I mean, even oh, yeah. if you take your kids to a playground or some other kind of, you know, uh, function where other parent anywhere. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta think about where you're at and what you could be doing because- All the sports are going on right now too. Uh, my yeah. granddaughter is in volleyball. There's a game tonight. This is a great opportunity. I could go there with samples and just hand the samples out with my phone number on her and say, hey, I still Avon. If you like this perfume, give me a call. I'll give you a deal. So, I mean, you can do that. You can do that. Go to the games, go to the football games. They're all going on right now. Um, and so, yeah, perfect opportunity. You don't even have to have a kid or, mm -hmm. or tell them my kid is in the band, you know? Yeah, them. right. They, yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, you know, does. if somebody says when you ask them, you know, that or share that with them, if they come back with the answer, oh, I don't use Avon, what would be the next response you could use? We no longer use those products either. We have new products. Right. Or who do you know? Who do you know that you could share that with? Yep. They're no. different. Not only that, the one lady that I did that with over at a hospital, she, she said that she's allergic to the Avon products. And I said, oh gosh, that's so hard because I know how bad that is. I have a product that I'm allergic to that Avon sold at the time as well. And then I tell her, but did you know we still have jewelry? Do you know that we have perfumes? And if you're allergic to perfumes, we have cleaning supplies, we have clothing, we have a lot of things. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. A simple, and it embarrasses her because then she'll say, no, I'm allergic to all that too or something. Yeah. But a simple thing is, why don't you, if you don't want it, you just say, no, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Instead of making an excuse, oh, I'm allergic. Yeah. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next slide, Darwin. Um, and that one is kind of a customer challenge that we talked about. Um, this is good to use because you can put a check in each day that you add a new customer. Now, when this goes by weeks on the left side and then the Monday through Sunday on the top. But if you look at this and count the calendar right now, we're about 12 weeks till Christmas. So I put a little line down there at 12 weeks, like right, you know, where it says 12 on the left side. And this is gonna be kind of our, our team challenge that, that I'm going to kind of, you know, use your honor in sharing with me each week, how many days did you find new customers? Did you do something different that connected you, made a connection, gave some lip balms out with your phone number, got their information? That's kind of a key thing, got their information and did your follow up, you know, new customer challenge which is a perfect time right now with all this new that we're gonna see at the end of the slide in the book. So that's our challenge. Any comments on the customer challenge? Okay, so this is, this is kind of self-explanatory on what you do. Let's go to the next slide. And the next slide talks about converting subscribers into customers. And this was a slide that, that uh, Avon used that was created by Dan Diane Hernandez. And, you know, Avon's always talking about adding our customers 
emails. So it first is kind of your triangle there where you add email customers into web office, but then you've got to do like a warm up. You've got to like offer them some type of offer, maybe using our uh, coupon tool, um, free product, ask them an opinion on something, use that as kind of your warm up, and then uh, go on to build a relationship with them. And I kind of had that last night when just as an example, um, I was delivering an order of someone that ordered the middle of the summer, but she gave me her credit card because she said they were going to be going a lot of different places and was only going to be home a day or two in between. Just, you know, when I get her products, just use her credit card and hold on to her products for her. So, okay, that's fine. We, we can do that, right? As long as we've got payment up front. <clears throat> So last night, you know, she called me and said she was back and that I could drop that off. And so I did. And luckily for me, her door, <clears throat> excuse me, her wooden door was open. And, you know, she just had the screen door there. So I walked up on her porch and I said, you know, Donna, whatever her name was. I said, hi, is this Donna? And she says, yes, it is Dawn. And she opened the door and my gosh, we stood there and talked. I don't know, it had to have been at least a half an hour on her porch. And we weren't talking about really Avon. We were just talking about life. We were talking about her travels. We were talking about, you know, she was just a talker and she was covering, I mean, even went into politics, which I usually don't with a customer, but she was very easy. But we were building relationship. She, we were, we were, she got to know more about me. I got to know more about her. She likes to play blackjack and so on and so forth, you know. So we, we built the relationship and then we, we really personalized our approach at the same time. So she is a customer of mine, but will she order again? Well, now it's where I'm going to go back kind of and do the follow-up of a coupon code, follow-up of, of uh, you know, I did take her lip balms, um, ask her opinion on what she ordered, that type of thing. So that's how you kind of move around this triangle to create this hopefully longtime customer because you've had, you're more of a friend than a client at that point, you know? So that's that's a key, a key triangle. Anybody's comments uh, on this that they've used? Okay, we'll move on to the next page. And that is figuring out where you're gonna find these new customers. We talked a little bit about this in the beginning but this pr primarily talks about the social media groups that match your interest. Um, I've always talked about joining a local chamber. Um, get, like I know Flo got involved with their, their um, market, you know, their market that they have on a regular basis. I just recently joined, um, a group called, uh, where is it? WOSOs, Women Oper uh, Entrepreneurs of Southern Aurora, right? I mean, it was just like a group that landed in my lap um, in, in Facebook. And I was like, wow, this is a networking group that I want to be a part of because of the networking opportunities, they meet once a month and only on a certain day on their website can you promote your business. Otherwise it's getting to know everybody uh, more personally and how they can work for you. Um, just a great organization. And when you join, you can go 
anywhere in the United States that there is a group like that. So, you, you know, I think it was like 199 to join. That's a yearly fee, not a monthly fee. And um, I figured that's a lot cheaper than my chamber of commerce around here. And I'm still getting the networking opportunities. Um, they have one-on-ones like the chamber of commerce does. And uh, so if anybody's interested in checking into those type of groups in your area, let me know and I can pass on um, how do you make that connection. But, you know, um, what are your lifestyle interests? What is um, in your spiritual life? I mean, finding customers at your church functions is another definitely open opportunity for you. Um, I mean, we have a neighborhood picnic on Saturday. Um, yes, yes, we're going to go because it opens up my opportunity to talk to some of the neighbors that I wouldn't normally get to talk to. So that's some outdoor activities or we talked about at a park or something with your kids, um, whatever stage of life you're in. I'm in a different stage of life than some of you other team members out there. So your stage of life um, makes a difference on how you're going to talk to. Like when I talk to a young gal, it's totally different than when I talk to someone that's got grandkids, right? So thinking about all that in finding new customers and matching interests so that you can, you know, have a, a relationship. It's all about relationships. And that's what social media is really about is, is messaging people and finding out more about them than messaging them and saying, I want to sell, sell, sell. Okay. Any other comments on finding new customers through different social groups? All kinds of stuff that you can do, um, places that you can go. Uh, for example, tomorrow night, um, my husband and I made a, do he actually made a donation under my Flows Avon Solutions, which is what I go under for my uh, Avon account on Facebook. And uh, he made a $500 donation on behalf of Flows Avon Solutions to this organization that we're going to a fundraiser tomorrow night. So because he did that, uh, they all know because it's on the flyer, it's on their face, it's on their Facebook page because it all went through that um, because it's all there and people are going to be going to this event tomorrow night. I now have to pack up some, well, I mean, I probably might have anyways, but now for sure, I have to pack up some books and some samples and I'm thinking about making some flyers so that I can do that. and. Um, bring them with me. So mm -hmm. don't forget about uh, benefits and festival. There's so many festivals going on right now too. Right. Don't forget about it. Get yourself a bag, a carry bag. Um, and it doesn't even matter what size, throw some books in there. Like I was in church on Sunday and I just happened to put enough new books in my purse that the girl who was sitting behind me said, aren't you the lady who sells Avon? Cause most everybody knows that I do there, but she's new. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, I said, I am. She goes, my mom and I love Avon. It's like, I have some new books for you. So I gave her the current book and the one for the next time. So, I mean, you just don't know. You might be anywhere, but go to those festivals, walk around, just hand them out. And if you feel funny about approaching somebody who's standing at the concession stand, hand it to the person behind the concession stand. They have to talk to you. These other people don't have to, but they right. do. If they want something from you or you want something from them, you got to talk to them. Hey, I sell Avon. Here you go. You know, right. you sell me this, maybe you want to buy something from me later, you know? Right, right. I'll meet you at the fair and I'll give you a discount. It, whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. that's something up. And that, that's, that's a key thing too is um, if you're taking advantage of the bonuses that Avon is giving with the lip balms. I mean, you have something that Avon gave you free that you can use as a door opener. 
that you, you can, or you can buy the lip balms, you know, there's in the what's new, you know, they had specials on the lip balms and probably still do. And, and, or maybe it's the samples. I mean, if you reach the hundred, uh, you know, dollar, the club of a hundred dollars in the two campaigns, then you can get the samples and there there's free samples to share. But the key is in any of this, again, is the follow-up. So you've got to get names and numbers. Even if you ask them a simple thing like, would it be better for me to email or text you? You're not, you're not asking them yes or no that they're going to give you their information. You're giving them a choice. Would you like to, me to text you or email? Which is better for you? And so that way you're going to get something and then the follow-up is so key two or three days after you hand somebody something um i mean i do that in restaurants all the time uh a server i take my little lip balm bags uh i usually have some books in the car not necessarily with me but be prepared whatever way it is give your little uh, lip balms or something and then um and then, you know, say, hey, write your name on the back of this or something like, you know, the receipt or something like that so that you can uh, keep track of that and check back with them. So that's, that's a key thing um, is getting involved to build relationships, you know, and that way you're going to going to be networking with more people and that means more customers. Okay, the next slide. I got to watch my time here so that we don't run over. Who is your new customer? What does your new customer look like? It's good to look at these questions. And even if you haven't, you know, downloaded the PDF of this, you can take a screenshot of this slide or watch the replay, <clears throat> excuse me, and get that on there. But who I want to help and why. Define your perfect customer. Is it a male? Is it a female? Is it both? Are they married or single? What is their age group? Do they have kids? How much money do they make? Well, you know, you don't know that necessarily want to ask that, but you get a pretty good idea. Do you work? Are you work at home or do you go to an office? What motivates them? What do they struggle with? What are their pain points? Uh, if they're going to talk skincare, now you can, you know, what are your concerns about your, your skin? Uh, what makes you unique? What can you uniquely offer to that customer? Well, Avon gives you those coupon codes that you can use with an email. So you can do that. You can offer something verbally, like um, if they're close by, you can offer a free gift with a $50 order. You, you can create your brand is what it's kind of talking about. Reach your customer uh, with what social media platforms do they use? Where do they hang out in person or online? What are their interests? And what type of marketing do they respond to the best? So do they, not very many people like email, you know, or really check their email. I find texting people is the best form for me. Some people may like to talk on the phone. So then is that the best way? Are they in messenger and they want to message you through messenger? Um, what, what connection? What is your best communication is, is a good question to just ask a potential new customer. Any other thoughts on this page? Okay, so he, this page is just kind of blank. So you can, uh, you know, jot down things about finding your new customers. Um, Go back to that page where every day you were going to uh, put a check mark for finding a new customer. Um, do that for 12 weeks because you're building up 
your potential holiday shopping um, list of who's going to be shopping with you for the holidays. So now it goes into selling more products. Uh, this is on page 36 of that booklet. Uh, brand yourself. Okay, we talked about that. Conversation starters. There, if you've got questions about how to start a conversation with someone, you know, definitely contact me. We can definitely have a little Zoom or a one-on-one -on, -one on the phone about that. Create the habit to ask about what daily essential needs do they have and go for those hundred no's because you know there's going to be a yes. If you're getting no's, 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 don't quit. Keep going. Next slide is suggestive selling. And this gives you some of the words and the questions to ask. So it's easy if you're if you're leading into skincare, if you're talking about what they could be using, <clears throat> excuse me, um, what colors, what colors do they like to wear? When someone asks me about a foundation color and they're not going to the uh, makeover tool that's at Avon now, we're just on the phone. I always ask them, well, what colors do you wear? that you get compliments. You know, are you like, when you wear hot pink, does everybody say, oh, that color looks good on you? Or when you're wearing green, uh, does someone say, you know, like the army green color or even the holiday green color, when you're wearing that color, what do people say? Okay, now I use two different colors. One was a warm color, one was a cool color. OK, so then you're going to be able to go back to the foundation colors or the other colors in the book that are categorized by neutral or cool and warm. And you're going to be able to lead them into the right color to maybe purchase for their foundation or whatever they're looking for. Yes, number three, don't forget to lead into the holidays. Oh my gosh, we are in the biggest, biggest selling period of the Avon year and all retail is, is looking at this right now. So this is a part where you're going to not settle for just a lipstick order. You're going to want to start asking them questions about what they're currently using start asking them questions about, oh my, you know, open-ended questions. The holidays are coming up. Do you have any idea who you need to buy for? You know, and just get them to bring out, oh yeah, I usually, you know, buy this. Oh, I usually give gift cards. Okay, you can make a gift card too. You can create something like that. You can supply them with their needs for all their gift ideas, all their add-on sales with our home um, cleaning products. Why should they run out to, you know, Target or one of the other drugstores to buy, you know, cleaning wipes? Whose stockings do they have to fill, right? Um, you know, read through these things and get this all kind of practiced in your mind. Get an idea of how you're going to lead that customer by just finding out more about them and their needs to build your order. Any other thoughts that come out as I'm talking? Okay, let's go on. So now this is the graph on building the sale. Your customer just called you with an order. Now let's build that sale. Are they engaging and open? Or can you tell they're in a hurry and they just want to order these two things and get off the phone? You can feel those things. But if they're engaging, then what you want to do is continue to open that engagement. Find out what category you want to upsell 
by asking open-ended questions to find solutions for their needs. Is it skincare? Is it color? Or if they got a birthday coming up that they need to find something for someone that, you know, likes fragrance or something, or, you know, is a makeup lover. You know, you can, you can find these things all out. The sale is not over until the conversation, um, you continue the conversation and then add like our lip balms, our $5 things, uh, hand creams, um, all these things that you know they're probably carrying in their purse. Or now, I mean, even with masks, you may say, did you know that Avon has the, you know, the special K95 mask? Those type of things. Anything else, people, that you want to share? If you've got more questions about this, you can always bring this to me individually um, and we can talk more about it. Um, because you might be, you know, just a little bit shy to come on the camera if you're not, you know, used to uh, being on our Zooms. So finding products for your customers, make a list of things uh, that you can suggest for that add-on sale. And that's, you know, pretty much some very much basic, but very much time to go back to the basics and kind of get this whole uh, finding new customers and how you're gonna help them, whole concept down. Okay, as you can see, we've gone on to the pictures. So there's not really much that I'm gonna say about each picture. We're just gonna kind of run through these pictures, not real fast. Um, this was at the, as you can see, the hallway to go into the convention at the, um, at Avon's convention, that was the end of August. So let's go on, let's continue. So I wanted to point out on the bottom right side, um, you can see Roger Winchester's name is there uh, because he's been five years with Avon. And so they had these milestone uh, cards set up if you were five years, if you were 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, all this five, five year uh, milestone. And all those people were getting sent the gift that was on top of there. Now, this is probably what you saw when you were um, getting the product experience. Can you go back a, hey, Don, can you go back a screen? Yes, go back a screen, please. And what was on the top of there? What, uh, you said there's uh, a free gift on the top? What was you know, the On the gift? top of each one of these was a free gift. Darwin, do you uh, remember what was the free gift for the five year? I don't know if he's listening. That's okay. Yeah. But, I don't uh, remember exactly what it was. Oh, yeah, Kim. I have a picture of it. Kim, you're on there too. I'm sorry. I was just. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So see, you're five years as well. So anybody that was Savon had their name on this card. So. Oh, I, that's why I took this because Roger and Kim were on there. There you go. <laughs> good, good cover up, Darwin. Good cover up. <laughs> A little late, but good cover. Good up. that you're both W's. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember, Darwin? What was the gift on the top of that? That little. Um, it was a. It was a collection of two or three products. I don't remember if it was Dr. Belmer or some other uh, skin bundle. I'll look at the pictures before tonight's uh, Zoom and it's see if I can figure deal. it out. Yeah, you should be getting something free in the mail because even the ones that everybody got it mailed to them, they weren't given that okay. at the Thank event. you. Okay. They do that every time for everyone who has these milestones. Milestones. Yes, they'll do that milestones. So right. I should get one next year then, yeah? Yeah, right. I'll be five years in March. Okay, sure. Then you'll be the next year um, milestone. Okay, so here is Michael giving you, he's got his microphone in hand. So you probably saw that on the other side through the uh, virtual. Okay, go on. 
Next slide. <laughs> there we go. There's Michael again from the back side. So, <laughs> and then this, um, this was the door that they had. Now this garland and these trees, these little hats down here stuck into the, the cotton that looks like snow on the bottom. And then all this stuff on the right side. Avon's going to have all that stuff. It's all products that are coming. So this door, notice it's 1886. How cute. And um, so we took our picture in front of that door. And um, so that was fun. Now we'll go into the holiday things that you probably saw too, but maybe a different angle um, on ours. So I won't continue to talk. <laughs> That is so cute. I just wanted to say something. And for any of you guys who actually do decorate the front of your front door or something like that, this is just so cute. This little setup. It's yeah. like I'm looking and I'm thinking, wow, I want to do this with my, I've got a very narrow front doorway where you walk up into and I try to do some fun things on it, but this looks really, really cute. It think is about, so cute. Yeah, think about decorating your own home because then somebody going by, you can, you can even put a sign out there that says, uh, all, all decorations brought to you by Avon. And then they'll think about that. And so you can even do that now. Once yeah. you get these things, you can put them out there and people will say, oh, that's a little early. But no, it's not. Look at what you're doing. You're advertising your front door is you're all branding. being decorated by Avon. You're branding your house. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. you are. It's cute. Yeah. And this was a little belief boxes, which you'll see. Uh, what? Are and these I little think Santa's that. coming too? Santa's, yeah, all of this is coming. This is all from Avon. This was the little belief box content. So, nice. um, so many fun things. So you see this little belief box and holiday gifts. Oh, the snowman was so cute. And these, I, I mean, you just stood there and you went, oh, oh look at that. Oh, this uh, this little village are kind of is seen uh, sliding down the hill. These are so cute. I love their little things that they have. I, I get them all, and I and then I get them again because all the grandkids or all oh. our kids, we send one to each of them for Christmas gifts. That's cute. I know this is the countdown to Christmas using this little car. I mean, how darling is this? That is adorable. Yeah. He's going backwards though. Yeah, the, the, the quality of these things and a carousel. Oh my gosh, folks, we had a carousel, like I want to say 15 years ago. Hold that picture. Um, it's sold out. Everything's going to sell out fast. Everything's going to sell out so fast. It's so important that when you have this availability on these things to Go ahead. Oh, and this little toy shop is just, I mean, this picture does not do it justice. It really doesn't. It is so cute. Well, there's three things then, yeah? Mm -hmm. There's the slide, there's a toy shop, and then there's the carousel. Cool. I, oh, there's more than that. There's more than that. Now, this yeah, is the little cute. village to add to our villages that we have in the past, darling. So look at all the little characters and the little park bench. I mean, and, and everybody loved this truck with, and it lights up in the back with Santa bringing, bringing gifts in a pickup truck. <laughs> I love those wipers are so cute. Very heavy though. Yes, it is a very heavy item. It is a very heavy really? item. Yes, it doesn't look like it, but it is. Can't knock that off a shelf, huh? No, you'd want to put no, it. No, but you have time. to pick it up to turn on the light. So, you know, if elderly people uh, buy it, you want to be, you know, let them know that it's very heavy and so they don't drop it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. When are they coming in? Uh, we don't know what campaign on a lot of these. They used to put it on the little tag, but they didn't have any tags with the campaign numbers this year. Um, so... We'll just have to keep watching our what's news. Okay. We don't know if it was because of the system outage or, or what, that they weren't able to, to do it or they just didn't have them. Didn't they say that all of the bundles and stuff that we were getting were all coming by campaign 22? Yes, 
all the bundles that we ordered, those are all coming by campaign 22. There was nothing after that. So I think that if you ordered the bundles through the holiday um, convention, uh, and then again, you see the snowmen there up above there, you see, and you got to what's behind. I mean, it's just, it was so hard to get individual. Look at how cute that would be with them setting on a mantle or something. It's just, and there's the little one holding a wreath and a light. Mm -hmm. And look at this one. This one was in the convention bundle. Um, this with the kind of snow globe kind of atmosphere in that. It's just beautiful. They used to do that all the time with the snow globes. In fact, I have a very old one of Santa that has a music box under it and you click it and then the glitter bubbles up into the bubble and it looks like a lantern. Yeah. So I, I, I this, don't even remember when that was. This lights up with the, with the uh, nativity family. I, I mean, yeah. this is gorgeous. Uh, I think we've got a picture with it not lighted. So with when it's not lighted, you still see a lot of detail. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a great, great gift for church families and things like that. So. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. And then look at all these trees. These are all like, um, oh, <laughs> they are I photobombed. As you can see, I'm looking at the other side as he's taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the angels, the, all this light up little stars on them. I love this stackable Santa snowmans. That they haven't had that before, except it was all stuffed animals and it wasn't light, lit up. I've got that one too. Yeah. That's from yeah. the nineties as well. I, I mean, these things hold up really, really well. You'll have yeah, them they, for years. They do. They do. They really do. And, um, that's cute. Just so gorgeous. I mean, they're, they're done so well. It's not cheap work either. It's they're very well done. Okay. Another picture of that one. So we can, but that's just put on a little tray with snow in it. So that could be an individual type of thing. These are the uh, ornaments, um, but it's kind of hard to see them. We kind of tried to make it as visible as we could. Okay, next. The nativity ornaments, a set of three nativity ornaments. Okay. He was taking all the pictures. <laughs> I was doing the live with you guys, remember? <laughs> Trying to show you everything I was seeing. Um, okay, now Lisa Wilbur photobombed our uh, picture on this one. So that's Lisa Wilbur right back here with the hat on. I love her. She's awesome. She is awesome. She is. Is that a so ceramic cool. tree? It is. It is. I can't remember what material it's made of, but it was um, just beautiful. Just beautiful. And it's pretty tall too. I'm looking at it on the table behind it. Right. Where mm -hmm. the, the girl is standing there. And that's pretty tall. Yeah. And then there's these candles at the bottom corner on the right side. They're wicks. There's another moved. picture of them. Yeah, we got a better picture. But the wick even moved there's inside. A lot of there's a great little church. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So the wicks in these uh, battery operated candles, that there's a little fan under the wick and it waves, you know, it flickers. Yeah, it makes the wick just it's a little like fabric a burning, burning light. And there, these trees all light up. We had something similar to that last year. Yeah. Very nice. I know. It's just, and there's a snow globe, another snow globe, really pretty with, uh, and then we're getting to the slippers. Ooh. Slippers are a big, big holiday item. For anybody that's that's new, um, this is slippers go like crazy. So some people set up slipper kind of fundraisers for retirement facilities. So that's a great way to build your sales. Um, set something up that you know so many so many dollars will buy a slipper that's donated to the retirement facility. 
our pajamas. We got four different sets of pajamas this year. It says joy, love, and peace with the plaid bottom. And this one, a smile, shine, and sparkle. And it's kind of got like a polka dot uh, pajama with it. Um, the sparkly slippers are going to be wonderful too. We got these a couple of years ago and they sold out fast. So if any of you guys are interested in getting those slippers for your customers, promote them now, order them as fast as you as they come out and then you'll get them. But if you wait, they're going to be gone. Yeah, they will be gone. This pajama says fa la 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 la. So how fun. Um, and they have these little kind of, um, you know, different like form of slipper. Yeah, ballet slipper. So um and this is so cute with the star and the plaid bottoms and pink with the did little they have children's pajamas this year. I did not see any children's pajamas this year yet. I don't know. They could have not just had it on display, but uh, yeah, this they're so cute. They're just so they must have done well last year that they brought them back uh, with new designs. So you can see how open the product experience was with that last picture. And this is your pets stuff that they have to a little bed and they show. Now the dog I think is just for display purposes. Okay, and then the next one, there's a couple more on the uh, dish, drink up and chow down, cute little bowls. Some of, this, some of this we already have in the book. So they're just showing you what they're adding to it. Uh, now we're not sure if this container with treats in it is going to be in the book or if it was just the display. I think it's gonna be in the book, the container. And they just put the treats in it to show you what it can hold. Great. And then they went into the home star and the home um, cleaning things. And, you know, some of this we already have already in our books, we know, but they were showing that how this can all build your order. These dry mop cloths and the wet mop cloths we use, batteries and car air fresheners, toothpaste, uh, toothbrush holders and, and that, and little scrubber. Uh, Fuji fresh for laundry with the new lavender. But they even brought in this sink just for the display purposes. It was just so unique how they created all this. It gives you ideas, like if you're gonna show it at a show or an event, how you can you know, make this stuff stand out on your table by just adding a few things next to it to just uh, show people, you know, you're talking about household cleaning products. After the event, they donated all of the, the product experience to a certain organization. So all of this was donated. Love these wipes. If you're not using them, just try them. Jewelry. Now we, like I said, we went through all of these pictures last night and got them into categories. And uh, so I know we got this already out in the book because I've got it. <laughs> and um, my orders were to take a picture of every single thing. I think I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what his orders were. You get as many pictures of the products that you can. I could not say, don't take this one because 
we already have that in the book. I, I said, get everything. <laughs> he had to do it in two visits to the product experience to get it all too. <laughs> so, so neat. I mean, sometimes a picture just doesn't do it as much as seeing it in person. They, some of the cases were a little bit dark, so apologize for that. I've got that necklace on today. Hang on, go back to that necklace. Go Sorry, back. I'm all about the bling. Yeah. It, it, what, is, what is the stone in that? It's hard to tell. Well, it, it is, it's called um, on the box. Hold on, let me go look real quick. It's called blonde something, blonde. But you know how I am about the Avon bling. I've got pieces that when I first started selling back in 1976, I mean, I didn't stay with it all that time, but um, I still have pieces and this stuff just lasts and lasts forever. Yeah, so. this is called blonde, blonde tortoise. Blonde, blonde tortoise. tortoise. Mm hmm and I've already gotten it. So it's available either in the what's new or whatever. Very um, pretty. And the earrings, I've got those on too. Can't see that close, but you can see later. Okay. Thank you. And the watch. And then this ring is gorgeous too with the little stone inside the filigree. Beautiful stuff. Just all kinds of great gift ideas. men's men's things as well all kinds of different colored stones birth stones always work great for gift ideas for someone that star necklace is beautiful beautiful and the pearls oh, all the pearls I don't know how much you got to see of all the jewelry in the, um, with what Michael showed you, but the watches or the digital watch, I guess is what they're called. And that's a, that's a set that was in the bundle. That's a set. He didn't show us the whole lot. There's the ornaments again too, that just in a jar. So you can see they're kind of painted on the outside, the nativity. Mm -hmm. But lights would really, on a tree, would make that stand out so pretty. Okay. I've got that, that shirt on today. So that is, see, this is all hangs down, but you can also button this from side to side. Oh, to cool to make it a different look. Mm -hmm. um, socks and boots and all kinds of. I got the socks, I like them. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, I got yeah. those too, those are nice. They got the boot socks and then they got the other kind of socks and. I've worn the boot socks so far. And the uh, these are unisex slippers there. This, this has got a leather, faux leather trim down the front of that shirt. But you know what? Something going down the front of a shirt is slenderizing. Um, there's that, that jacket. If anybody hadn't bought that yet, the, those things are available right now. This lady said that they ran through to size. Mm -hmm. You know, her size fit her. And they, they don't fasten. It's just a hang loose cardigan. So whether or not you want it more open or closed and this, this fun little button detail in the cowl neck. I can't wait till the weather gets cooler so I can wear these things. <laughs> these are cute shoes, just, you know, your basic. And then they had all the things hanging and then the tennis shoes with the, I mean, these are all updated fashions that people are wearing when you see 
This top is so cute with the real big dome and sleeve. Now we have some fragrance bundles. The gift sets. Um, just beautiful boxes for everything. You know, it's it barely needs to be to be wrapped. Just put a bow on it and you're good to go. Another thing to suggest as you're doing shopping for your customers, offer to wrap or even get some bags at the dollar store and tell them that, you know, for a couple extra bucks, you'll, you'll get it with the tissue paper in the bag and they'll get it ready to give. So great. Okay. Some more gift sets and some more uh, skincare gift sets as well in beautiful holiday boxes. So, and this is a cute little brush, um, makeup brush set. We have one of these every year, holiday craves in a box, nail stick-ons. Two designs. I was really surprised to see this because I didn't think we'd ever get this back again with, you know, other companies doing that themselves. There's, there's a good thing of the brushes. How convenient. Perfect good. stocking stuffer. Mm -hmm. Your lip balms and your hand creams. Everybody loves these things. These are great add-ons to your order. Silicone glove. And then we go into the retune. So they got a whole section on the retune uh, for your metabolism boost, hunger block, collagen booster. A lot of people add that to their coffee. Restful sleep and your hydrations. They showed it, you can see in a little bowl, vitamin C, bone health, digestive health. Um, and then the omega-3 and the eye health. Great, they had great posters and everything by each product. It was just so displayed so well. And they threw those posters away. And I looked at them and they were uh, glued on the foam board. It was too big to take on the plane. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have brought them home. <laughs> you get your little knife and you cut them into sections. Yeah. <laughs> right into your suitcase. <laughs> So now we're going to go into the oils. They got a neat little case for the oils that's coming up that you'll have to make sure. Neat little case here in green for the oils. Those little stands that those are on are are those coming up available? The one we already, the one we already had, and I've got a couple of those and I use them. Yeah, that one. I've yeah. got a couple of those and it slides out and extends it twice as far, but those are really handy. Yeah, they are. This is the case that, that uh, doesn't hold the diffuser, but it, it holds the oils in there, which is really a neat gift idea too. Or take it with you when you see your customers and show them. Yeah. Show them the different scents. Mm -hmm. The far away, beyond, intense. So we'll be going into, I think, a fragrance now. So this, you can see how they displayed all of this with flowers, with the fragrance scent that it, it, it has. And they, you know, gave you, you know, the little scent strips of anything that they had on display, which was great.
And this is men's. That's a new look. Mm hmm. I can't tell what the name of it is. Mesmerize. Is it say mesmerize? Okay. Yes, so repackaging for mesmerize. Mm hmm. Nice. Very, very professional looking. Very, you know, very professional. But, you know, it, Ooh, it's mesmerized platinum. Okay. That's what the difference is. I, yeah. It was hard to keep track of all the stuff as you were looking at it. I, I got that far away intense. Do you know how it smells? Because I can't open it because I'm trying to sell it. Well, the far away intense. I'd have to look in the book for you. Did you read what it says about it in the book? Yeah, it just said hints of amber and jasmine and um, something else. I did open mine. It's so those are amazing. fruity scents. They're like, yeah, they're like really fruity. Okay. It smells really nice. You may want to use that bottle as your sample so more people get to smelling it and they might buy it. So okay. you may want to use that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do with mine. I open them if they're interested. I let them smell it. I put, I have little sample cards or you can even use a, one of those little, uh, the little cards and just tear a little strip off and let them smell from that. But if you use them on somebody, if you say this smells fantastic, smell this, they might say, yeah, that smells great. Get me a bottle. So okay. I always want to think about buying two, one to share and one to use. Mm -hmm. Well, I got it from the convention. So oh, I was okay. just- Okay, yeah. Okay. Wondering. Yeah. But you know, oh, find fantastic. out- find out what your customer likes does your customer like the vibrant does your customer like the fresh you know or whatever and then go go from they usually know what category they like their sense into okay mm -hmm. okay next more far away infinity Okay. Those little bottles are so cute. They are cute. I love those little tassels on them. Yeah. That's why I did that video with all of them because I'll, I'll get one of each. And then I like to show them because it makes people see how cute they are and then they buy them. Topaz. That, that is my biggest sellers. Right. Topaz is something they're bringing back from we had that years and years ago yeah. and then your rare gold intense cute little domes and look at them they put little pearls in there and and such now the rare rare platinum intense most of my customers want that rare pearls mm-hmm Yep. We had this, remember we had this little booklet that was uh, the co fragrant collections. They'll probably have more of that available. And then these are the softy and 60 years with skin so soft. So, you know, that's all pretty much the same. No package difference on that. Just our most popular selling product. And then we have the coconut. And our favorite cucumber melon, <laughs> vanilla. And then some of the essences was displayed with fruit around it. It was great. Your coconut. Lilac, bubble bath. There are um, like over a hundred uses of bubble bath. So if anybody's interested in getting a copy of that, I can always post it in the team uh, files. And I've got the peppermint delight from the convention. It is really awesome. Isn't it? 
awesome. Yes. It is so awesome. Dawn, yeah, post that if you would, please. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Thank you. I just love the little tub with all the little balls in it that looks like suds. <laughs> They did really great at the displays. Um, I, I learned a lot from that particular course from the convention. I don't know if you guys saw that on how to put those displays together. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from that and pay attention to how they have these things set up and the color coordination and um, the position of your products makes a huge difference. I got more people asking questions about the ones that I've done since the convention than I had ever before, which the other ones weren't too bad, but I am seeing how incredible these displays are. And they really went all out on these. These are wonderful. It, they're eye-catching, they're vibrant, they're fresh, they draw your attention. That's what you want when you're putting your products out there on the internet. Even if you're doing a display at home for a video or something for social media. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Right. And this was the new, the new booster that they were talking about. So they had all their little test tube kind of things set up, which was so darling. It just, you just wanted to go over there and see what they were doing with their little test tubes. And then this gift set for the Mission Lux. Really, really, you know, top line. And your collagen, collagen boost. Elastin for hair. Now we're going to the hair. That's what I've been using on my hair. I've been um, just just the bottom of it still has some hair dye in it from years ago. I haven't done anything with my hair in about five years, but just the very bottom of it. And it actually is helping. Um, it's helping my hair stay together and less split ends. So, I mean, it's growing out really well, but that's what I've been using. The one for damaged hair because of the ends, not to mention all the gray that's in there but um, <laughs> it does help it keeps it soft i like it i hope we're going to have all those brushes and and roller uh brushes i was going to uh, ask about the hair brushes yeah. the last time when they they sold it was before i started selling avon because i was a customer for 10 years for my girlfriend but um I, she said, they're going to stop selling the brushes. So I ordered 20 of them mm -hmm. and I still have some brand new in the package. They're the best hairbrushes ever. They will last a better than a year before all those little rubber thingies start coming off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when they start coming off, I start snipping them so they don't scratch my skull. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then eventually when there's not enough bristles on it to get through this tangled mess, I pitch them, but then I just opened up another one, but I'm starting to run low. I think I only have three left. So I need to see how, yeah. See how this is cute as a gift set. That's what they're kind of trying to show you there um, with a container of something from the Dollar Tree, you know, or something like that. Put a little tissue behind it and you have a fun little gift set to display on your table or take a picture of for social. So Okay, is that the end then, Darwin, or did we just lose you? I don't think it was the end. I think he might have just lost his connection because I think there's more. So we'll have to wait a few minutes because I think he's on another call. So he might be <laughs> being asked to speak on the, on the conference call and have to come back to us.
Oops, you're on on mute, Flo, if you want to unmute yourself. Well, when you were flashing through those and I looked at, I'm sorry, I keep occupying a lot of your time on here. Um, anyways, I was looking at it and I was just looking at the uh, case that you had the Mission Lux on. And that was one of those things that was offered. And I did get mine. It's right here. Oh, but good. I, yeah. It, mm -hmm. it is a fantastic thing. This board is super hard inside there. Yeah. It's hard. And the whole content, the whole case is just, it's like perfect. And it's just so nice. Yeah, Darwin said really he lost his connection. So there'll yeah. be more. We've got more. So um, I was really excited about this and all the little samples that are in it. And uh, to me, it was really worth the money trying to figure out, you know, how this stuff really works. So the thing is, is that I couldn't afford to buy this. So when they mm -hmm. offered the whole container, the whole kit, I thought this was a great opportunity to give it a try for, you know, less than half of what they normally would have sold it for. Yeah, so I, I got that set too. I thought that was, that's, yeah. it's really classy looking for that. That person yeah. that may like the Lux, but not want to invest in the full sizes, it right. would be great. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then um, again, because I'm senior citizen age here. So a, a lot of my customers are my age. And so um, if this is going to be a great, product that's going to work really well for me then why not give it a chance for other people and at the price they're going to sell it for I think it's a great idea well that's going back to what we talked about on finding customers what ages are they and what would be their interest and there you go so Darwin's and, coming back in with the powerpoint he just got kicked out or something so and if you're more things left if your husband actually works in a factory I sell my products right in his parking lot. Yeah, there you go. I, and uh, I sold some of my products from the convention and the one girl bought the Lux sculpting cream mm -hmm. and the oil. That was about 80 bucks in my pocket. I know. That's, the, that's why that stuff is good to have for those people that do are looking for that. They're going to buy it somewhere if they're looking for it. So now yeah, you yeah. just got to make sure they know you've got it so right. that you get the earnings from it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Are we coming back in? <laughs> he says, I'm on my call too. Just a minute. <laughs> he's he's double dipping here, uh, running our PowerPoint and on another conference call, but we'll... He'll get it back up as soon as he, I mean, they don't let each one talk too long when they got it. Well, talk. also I'm doing um, handmade packages that have mostly Avon in it for family members so mm -hmm. they can try the products for Christmas. Good then, idea. That way you get them as rebuyer, you know, repurchasing from you after Christmas. I already, I already know my mother-in-law's a rebuyer, but yeah. everybody else isn't. So yeah, yet, yet. Not it takes yet. time sometimes. One of my best customers when I first started um bought Clinique. And I just, you know, was talking more Clinique. about what Avon had and she turned over to Avon because of the price. And, uh, you know, she was one of my best customers in the very beginning when I started just down my street. And, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta let them know about you. They don't know about you unless you let them know. Okay, good. Right. Come back. Okay. Now this is when they're talking about the, um, keynote speaker. And, and she was like the power of you, be powerful, be you. And uh, she, she was wonderful. She was so fun. Okay. Come on. <laughs> well, I got the power, you got the power, we got the power, Avon. I know we, awesome. you should have heard the whole, 
uh, we did. That we're in person. Did you hear it? We could hear you all yelling it. Yeah, it was exciting. <laughs> it was fun. I was doing it in here. My husband comes in and he goes, "What are you doing?" Like I'm participating. <laughs> I know she, she was, you know, she's an Avon lady too, but she she's does a dynamo. Wasn't wow. she dynamite? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then she, you know, talked about the mirror talk and how to get comfortable with yourself. Talk in the mirror, smile in the mirror at yourself. Oops. Did he lose the connection again? Looks like, <laughs> oh, I took a, more notes on Peggy's stuff than anything else. I oh, think. you know what? While we're on, I will show you. I got her door prize. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And so it came in this bag. It had tissue in it, but I took the tissue out and it was some books. Let me get them out here. I need to get her books. Did she have a website? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to find it on these books. Kick your own butt. <laughs> Called to lead is one of her books that I got. Nice. Um, there's more. She was like, and then she took her picture with me. So we have that. Um, Transform your team in 21 days bragging rights. Wow. And then this one was kind of, it's kind of a workbook style with the, uh, you know, that type of thing. So that goes along with that. I've got the power to lead and think big. And then this one, well, the same one in Spanish. So she made up the booklet. So it depended on who got it. And then, um, and then she, this little, this is a little brochure kind of thing. And then this big book for all our daughters, how mentoring helps young women and girls master the art of growing up. Wow. Yeah. One of these she signed. Let me see if I can find which one that was. Here we go. She signed this one to Dawn, lead girl. So, okay, there we go. There's the logo <laughs> thing. I've got the power, you've got the power, we've got the power, Avon. Oh, it was so much fun to just be motivated with that. Okay, next slide. He usually uses headphones for his conference calls and he uses headphones for doing the PowerPoint. So I'm not sure how he's doing one ear on his conference and one ear on what we're doing, but okay. Oops, did he lose it again? I didn't think that was the end, but, um, but anyway, yeah. And then the other thing that was in here since we're going back, to filling, filling time a little bit. There was this little can and I was like, what's in there? So then I opened it and you wouldn't believe this. Look at this, this like pendant heart with the chain. And then there's a little hole to run the chain through. And it's like a heart pendant that opens up. So you could put a picture in there. And that was also in my little gift set. How sweet of her. It's really heavy. It's really heavy heart. Um, but yeah, I mean, she just packed that, those giveaways. And it wasn't just one giveaway. I think she gave away, was it either five or nine of them or something like that? You know? And so then we had to go back in the registration room um, to get our giveaway. And after that is when we uh, were, you know, everything was over um, and everybody was kind of talking around and stuff. And we decided our group that we wanted a picture on those steps that said Avon calling. So we had to go down the escalator where they were 
Well, the maintenance people at that time were starting to take down all the signs off the escalators and just going to throw them away. So Darwin was in front of me. He was on the escalator. He kind of started pulling the sign and I was behind him and I saw the sign was kind of hanging over. I just grabbed it with my hand and brought it down with me. And he was at the end and he rolled it. <laughs> he put it in our suitcase. <laughs> So that's how I that's how I made this sign back here. But that's awesome. I saw that cutting apart the big escalator sign to make the um to make smaller signs that we just put on poster board. I'm so, kind of surprised that they had the maintenance people pulling them off before the end of the convention because um, when we were down in New Orleans, they let us pull all that up before they went through everything and tore it all down. I mean, everybody wanted the stuff. They wanted the stuff with their names on them because they were on the floor and right. they wanted to pull them up. And they, they even gave us plastic bags to lay stuff on so that you can take it home with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of mm -hmm. surprised. And that's that makes me sad unless they, you know, unless nobody said, you know, wait till they come and then. I, they probably come. didn't. They really didn't have a convention that was starting right after ours or anything or even the next day. Um, they didn't have one that we could see. But, but when we were out at lunchtime, because uh, we had Walmart deliver uh, sub sandwiches when we got there. So we had lunch when they had that half hour break or 45 minutes for lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so we went back up our room and had our own sandwiches, saved a lot of money because we didn't, you know, have to go to a restaurant and pay lots of money there. Um, and when we were going back Sunday, people were starting to take the signs off of the, uh, like the posts that were in the atrium area. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh my God, I'm, I'm too short to do this, right? So then Darwin, we were both on scooters because of my um, vein surgery. We were both on scooters. And so uh, he got up on his scooter, didn't have to go up on the seat, he's tall enough. And he just started like maneuvering the sign on the bottom and rolled it up. Then the glue that they had along the post was letting go and we just slide the sign right off. <laughs> Let me get it. Hold on, if I can get it. All right. The only thing I didn't see that I was hoping we were gonna get would be a golden cat. A golden Yvette. That would have been really cool. I think, um, I'm coming back here. I think those things are still coming. Okay. Some stuff. I think the cat is still coming. Why would they run that whole incentive kind of thing to find the cats? Let's see which. Yeah. I hope it is because I would. Oh, look at that. <gasps> yeah. Uh, Celebrating see, 135 years. This is why I need to go to these things because and I then got, it's got the hole here where you could just put a dolly in. The yeah. Hand in. Yeah, I have a huge front window here with this massive arch. And right now it has all of my. Um, all of my boxes in there, you know, my yep. you know, boxes. Mm -hmm. So they we just rolled these up nice and tight and they fit in our suitcase. And we got a couple of them. How cool is that? Yeah. I mean, you know, when we went to Vegas, so how many years ago was it? Oh my gosh, it had to have been maybe 2001 or five, something like that. And um, in Vegas, you know, in the walkways, they had all these like signs hanging, promoting Avon's convention and stuff. And we were out and about with my friends. And of course, it was like two o'clock in the morning. And that at that point, maintenance was taking those down at two o'clock in the morning. And so we just went up to them and said, what do you, well, I mean, what did Avon tell you to do with these? You know, just to ask questions. They are like nothing. We're throwing them away. And our group that hangs around together was, no, you're not throwing them away. <laughs> and, and so we got some then. 
but they were like, I think they said, now is the time, Avon, or something like that. I think that was the slogan or the logo kind of thing back then. Mm -hmm. Who was it with you? Was it Kathy and Fred? Kathy and Fred. Yeah. Those guys are so great. I was so sorry we couldn't go this year. And then we missed them. They, they were so much fun to hang out with. You guys are you guys are a blast. I know. We were all sitting on the couches because in the convention they had different areas where couches. Um and um we were all sitting there and Bob uh or no Steve Bosson came by and he goes, Hi, you know, what you guys all doing? Well, we're friends from like, you know, when conventions first started that we just all get together when we have another convention and we just talk and, you know, we're good friends. He couldn't believe that. He sat down with us for a while and he was like, well, you know, he was just trying to find out what did you think about this? And what do you, what do you think about this? And, and then, then he said, well, let's all take a picture. He first took his camera and did a video of all of us sitting around there on these, uh, you know, padded chairs and stuff. And uh, then he said, well, let's all take a picture. So then he was in the picture in the back of all of us together. There was like 13 of us that were all friends for many years. Very cool. It was so fun. It's, it's just like you make such good friends with Avon sisters and brothers. Yes. It's just so cool. Okay, let me check on Darwin and see if his call should be over. They're only a half an hour. Um, see if he's coming back and uh, then we can finalize out this. <clears throat> almost talk, it's almost 1230. Yeah, oh, I gotta admit him again. He must have a hard time staying in. Okay, yeah, it's almost 1230. Um, I've got to go grab something to eat before the evening one. Are you guys all going to join us on the evening one tonight? Okay, that's good. Yeah, Kar um, Kiara, uh, you know, hope you will be because you're going to talk to us a little bit about your success. She's muted, so I don't know if she... Yes, I'll be able to attend. Okay, good, good. Glad you came off. I didn't know if you were somewhere where you were just watching and and that so I'm so excited when her name showed up it's like oh yay i know <laughs> that surprise that was very cool i didn't know that was okay. awful oh it was i didn't know what to do with myself <laughs> <laughs> well i tell you guys you all work for you know advancing your title doing high sales because there's nothing like when you get to go up on stage there's nothing like that that is such uh a neat moment um you know they they kind of told us you know listen for when they said you go back and out this one door and then they lined you up and got your names and all that and gave you your flowers and but then Steve Bosson that was when he had that long explanation about you know the power the system being down and we were like, oh my God, come on, get done, get done, get done. You know? It just ran on and on. We said to him afterwards, because we were all kind of talking again, and he came by our group and um, we said, uh, did it get a little bit longer than you expected today? And he was like, yeah, I just kind of kept talking. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, but it was neat that he got so personal with all of us that he could. He was so out and about with all of us that it was very genuine. It was very genuine. I mean, Michael is always that way, but to see Steve, uh, U.S. President of Sales, out and about with us like that it was great. It was just, you just felt so close to the family and to Avon, you know, corporate that it was, I mean, even the new CEO of Avon, um, he was out and about, he wasn't, didn't make a presentation on stage or anything, but he was out and about, you know, taking pictures with some of the reps and things like that. So, um, so it, you know, it was nice that it was so small. Everybody loved that it was, you know, only 690 or something like that reps there. 
and we could all fit into one room and we were just, you know, very close. So I don't know what they're going to do next year when they have convention and they'll be able to allow more people to come. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to do that to create that great closeness again, but we all told them how great it was that we got, you know, such small group um, interactions and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, he's trying to come back in with the PowerPoint, but uh, I understand if, if you can't wait, he, we just, um, I think what we had left was just a few slides. Of course, we will be doing, um, you know, the recording of this. So we'll be able to post it. Oh, now he needs to be admitted again. Okay. See if it works this time. Third time a charm, right? <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think his call is over because it was only till 1230. So his call should be over. So he should be able to pull his computer back in. Let me just make sure that screen sharing is still on there. So that isn't the problem. I did want to remind everybody once they, um, and you might want to do this later on tonight, but once they get this new, um, this new website set up for you to go on there and do a video. And now would be a good time to do that mirror thing. Practice in front of a mirror about what it is that you're going to say, what you want them to know about. Yeah, and, and stick to, to a plan because, I, like me, I can rattle off into a thousand different directions at the drop of a hat because that's how I am. My mouth just right. keeps going. But stick to a plan, write it out so that it looks as best as you can get it, but do it because from what I saw on there, it's a good thing. And I think mm -hmm. it'll be a ah, nice picture. Um, yep. I think it'll be good, but practice that. That's something you should do. Yeah, definitely, because that's going to go up when when customers and or recruits choose you as their representative. And right. so you you're gonna, yeah, definitely do the training at Avon U on that um, and the new setup. So I don't know. I haven't heard the exact campaign that that's gonna be introduced in, but it's supposed to be in the next 11 or 12. So. 11 or 12 weeks, I say, it should, it's supposed to be before the end of the year. I have a little bit of an issue with them doing it fourth quarter. Um, you know, I would rather see them introduce this in January, but we'll see what happens. Um, this was, this is the overhead view. They surprised us with a 135 year party. Um, they had food carts set up like four or five food carts and open bar um, for like from, I want to say it was like from four to six or something. And then the general session started at like seven that night. Um, but this was like a courtyard. And so they had chairs all over or people could stand and just enjoy everything from shrimp to salad to pasta. Um, uh, there was one other thing I can't remember. And then they had all these like five or six uh, different sections of portable open bars and you, Avon paid for it all. Avon paid for it all. $69 is all we paid to be there too besides our hotel, of course, and our airfare to get there. But this, this was more than, I mean, we should have paid more than $69 to get all this put on by Avon, but it was celebrating their 135th. And so they wanted to do something special. And uh, so, yeah, that was fun, fun, fun. Okay, now we're back to, I got the power, wrong direction. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What do you want? I, I had so much problem while I was on my call being uh, connected. Okay. Can you, what is left on the PowerPoint of the pictures? This or is, is that the last it? picture. That's the last picture. Okay. 
So we aren't missing out anything else. So that's good. No. That's good. I, I forgot and I don't have the pictures out here. So that is it then. That is the products that we got and a little bit of the other stuff that we saw. But uh, yeah, when I saw this, all this decoration and they had the poles all wrapped um, with Avon pictures and stuff, it was just like, that is Avon class. You know, you're with an organization that knows how to, you know, welcome the convention people. And, and so it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, so thank you for sharing, Dawn. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing all that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we had to bit, piece it and move it back and forth last night. So we got it all kind of in the care category. And, and like I said, we'll be uh, recording this. So I'm going to stop the recording now.